Hey viewers, welcome back to Andy's Garage. Hey, today I'm going to do a little different video today. Uh, it's going to be an unboxing video, I guess you can call it. I bought one of these. Uh, it's a knockoff, but it's one of those uh, knockoff of one of those all-American uh, lawnmower blade sharpeners. I've been needing something better than what I normally use. Typically, what I use is just a regular uh, die grinder. Uh, like I said, it does okay, but, you know, a lot of times you don't get that, you know, angle perfect. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out of the uh, box, and we're going to give her a try today. All right, viewers, this is the, uh, this is your uh, angle gauge goes from 15 degrees all the way to 45 degrees and wherever this edge here is located that's the angle of your uh, cut on your blade all you do to adjust it is loosen this knob tilt it back and forth and then uh, tighten her back up okay viewers I just for now I guess temporarily I just screwed this uh, sharpener into this 2x4 and clamp it into the vise. Um, I'm thinking about drilling some holes in the front board of my bench and just bolting it and taking it off and on whenever I need it. But I don't know. That's what I was thinking earlier when I first bought it. But now that I've got it like this, I just may keep it this way. Who knows? <clears throat> anyway, come to four of these pins here. And... What they do is they slide in up here. And these are what attach to your angle grinder because it's different sizes, different thread pitches. And this one here is the one that fits in mine. Uh, and what I've got here uh, on this flap disc is I've got a 60 grit. Uh, it's, I figured 60 is going to be good enough. Really didn't want to go with something like a 40. Because I was afraid if I went with a 40, uh, I would end up taking too much off or get a little aggressive. I'm just changing this cord around. I just, there you go. All right. All right. Let's uh, slide her in and make sure she's about halfway up, about halfway through. All right. See what happens. Actually, it's not too bad. Maybe I should have gotten a uh, little like 40 grit. But yeah, that's actually not too bad. Only thing I wish I would have done on this is I wish I would have marked on here where my cutting edge starts. I went just made a slight pass or two where that cutting edge stops so i'm just going to go ahead and take a sharpie marker here and mark that across the blade so i don't keep grinding in a spot that's not supposed to be grinded but all right let's continue at it
Oh, yeah. Most definitely she is starting to really cut down now. Just right up in here. And it's probably because of all the years of hand grinding. And I got that, you know, that angle messed up. All right, I'm going to give us a few more passes and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Ooh. Yeah, it's starting to look better up here, too. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Just right in this area about right here. I still got to work just a little bit more. But this right here, holy smokes. Looks good. Looks real good. I think it's actually going to work. And it was just a cheap, I think it was like, I don't know. 50 bucks, 55 bucks, something like that. Uh, bought it off the Amazonian website. It's supposed to be like the uh, uh, the all-American model. Uh, I believe it's the 5005. So just a you know, cheap Chinese knockoff of it. Uh, you know, Chinese reverse engineer everything. Hey, and in the previous video I was talking about instructions I think it was on the uh, tailgate assist about the crappy black and white pictures yeah that's what this is I mean black and white they're really dark and not bright it's hard to even see what the heck anything is instructions suck on it but like royally suck picture wise at least uh, anyway uh, yeah I think it actually works really good it beats doing it by hand <clears throat> with this, uh, which, like I said, that's normally what I've always, you know, well, I shouldn't say always, 95% of the time I would use that. Uh, I would use my angle grinder sometimes with an actual uh, grinding uh, wheel on it. Uh, first time I've used a flap wheel to actually sharpen a blade. Uh, the thing I like about it versus the grinding disc is it doesn't take off as much as quickly. So you have that little, you have that little margin of error there. So, uh, which is great. Uh, people like me like to just, you know, go full throttle at things and then I end up making things worse than uh, they were before. But anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going to throw a link in the description of this video. In my opinion, I think it's worth it. I mean, for like, I think it was like 50 bucks, 55 bucks, something like that. It wasn't very expensive. Uh, yeah, I could have gone out and bought a $500 bench mount machine. Uh, but I don't run a professional mowing business. I don't sharpen blades for people for a living or anything. It's mainly just for, you know, myself and my son because he does a bunch of mowing in the summer. But, uh. And then that's something we got to get started on before too long, too. Because actually, my yard needs to be mowed right now. It's pretty bad. So, green and tall. But, you know, here's what it is. I'm waiting as long as I can to, you know, do my first mow. Then it's got to dry up, too, because it's pretty wet out there. But anyway, enough about that. Hey, like I said, I think this is uh, uh, definitely worth it. Like I said, it's just a uh, cheap Chinese knockoff of the... Uh, all American sharpener 5005. Uh, like I said earlier, I'll put a link in the description for this. And to me, it's worth every it's worth every penny, uh, especially on our blades. Because uh, yeah, especially me, I like to run big things over and just chop it up. <laughs> Ask my son about breaking spindles. He's 
broken a few uh, in his years of mowing. So but anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, like I said, I think it's totally worth the money. Works great. Like I said, it's really sharp, really sharp. So that's, uh, I think it's going to work out great for us this year. Uh, longevity, who knows? Uh, only time will tell. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. And I appreciate you, always appreciate you watching my videos. And again, thanks for watching. Envelope. Pretty thick. See how this blade cuts. Cuts pretty doggone good if you ask me.